Hey there, Taurus, and welcome back. This is Renee, and welcome to your April 2023 reading, okay? Um, this reading is a general reading, but we'll, we'll cover love towards the end, okay? And uh, we'll also pull your angel number at the end, so make sure to stay tuned. Okay, Taurus, let's see what we have. Let's pull some energy for Taurus. What's going on? For Taurus, April 2023. Okay, we have a wedding. Wow. This situation involves marriage. So either you are going to be the one going to a wedding, you will be the one getting married, or you will be definitely involved in a wedding. Okay? So beautiful energy. This is exciting. Okay, so maybe someone is going to pop a question to you. Okay, there may be love here that's evolving, that's strengthening, that's building up. Okay, we have angel therapy. Archangel Raphael gives your cares and worries to us angels and allow us to take your burdens. Okay, so Archangel Raphael is letting you know that you are being protected. You are being guided. Your burdens are being lifted. Okay, so there's something going on in April that is going to lessen your burden. It's going to lift those burdens away, right? So let's get some more energy for Taurus. <clears throat> Okay, we have here and now, the number 32. So you're in between the past and the future, right? You're right where you're supposed to be. You're in the here and now. You know, stay in the present. If you're thinking too much about past events, Taurus, the Spirit is letting you know to pull yourself back, rein yourself back in, and get back to your present moment. Get back to what is important right now right and imagine imagine your possibilities okay i feel like the number 32 may be very very important to you that may be your age that may be your spouse's age that may be your significant other's age it could be that the number five is very significant for you but i feel like this card is reigning in big changes that are coming through, right? Um, I feel like a lot of things will be changing for you in the month of April. A lot of things will be becoming more clear, okay? And uh, I, I really believe that the number two will also be very significant. But the number two also means union. So I feel like there will be a coming together of you and someone else. If you can look very closely at this card, there's an angel pulling on the moon, okay? They're, they're tugging on the moon, this little figure here. They're bringing it closer. So I feel like this card is letting you know to dream and dream big. And when you dream, Start to take action and pull your dream closer to you. Make that dream a reality, okay? And I feel like that's, that's very important for you right now is to, you know, draw your dreams, draw your abilities, and do something that you really pursue. Just do it. Just take action. If, if you can't, Take full action, make one step, one tiny step towards something that you dream of, right? And I feel like your possibilities will be endless, Taurus, okay? Let's take a look at the tarot. Let's see what's coming through for Taurus. Let's see what's coming through for Taurus in the month of April message for Taurus. Okay. Choices. There's that two again. Yeah, there's some choices 
that need to be made. There are some um, decisions that you are going to get advice on, that you are going to be researching, you're going to be looking into, right? So I feel like, you know, you're going to start to take control of your situation. You're going to start taking action and start, you know, living the life that you prefer, that you dream of, okay? This is an offer that's coming in that's going to offer you some kind of increase. Some kind of abundance is coming in for you. This is going to be something that's very valuable to you, okay? This is an offer of maybe a job opportunity, um, something that's helping you increase your financial situation. This also may be an offer of um, able to move into a new home, a new car. You know, your possibilities are endless, right? But I, I feel like this is an opportunity to for you to receive some kind of increase. And I feel like you are definitely going to take some kind of action towards something that you really want, okay? You're, you're no longer sitting by waiting for something to come to you. I feel like you are taking action on whatever this is. These choices that you had to make, this choice, this decision, this crossroads that you were on, you, you are now making this decision. Maybe you even had to receive some advice on whatever this is. Maybe you asked around, maybe you did the research. Maybe you taught yourself how to do something, right? But I feel like you are sitting in the middle. You're sitting in the here and now, okay? And you're taking control of your situation. You're taking complete control. You're able to now take action on what it is that you want, okay? And I feel like because you're taking action, there's an opportunity that opens up, that is finally revealed to you, okay? I feel like you are getting this communication. There's some kind of message you're getting that lets you know that this offer is valid, okay? This offer is stable. This offer is fulfilling your dreams. It's a wish fulfillment. It's a wish granted. You have everything you need, right? And I feel like it's, you know, it may not be a complete new start. It may not be moving you out of your comfort zone, but I feel like it's making you more comfortable in your situation, okay? Now, th this is like moving out of your comfort zone into a new situation, but I feel like this being in reverse, you're becoming more comfortable in your situation. You're becoming more relaxed, right? So beautiful energy coming through. Let's go ahead and clarify for Taurus. Let's get a little bit of clarity for Taurus. Tell me more about the situation. Tell me more about the situation, please. Yeah, the King of Pentacles. Some kind of choice that you're making is bringing in more prosperity, is bringing in more abundance. You've made the right choice in your situation, okay? I feel like things are becoming more clear because you're taking action, because you're not sitting back and waiting for something to happen. Yes, you have patience in your situation, but you're also taking control. You're working on the situation, right? You're taking a different perspective. Look at all those major arcanas. That's beautiful energy. And look, you still have the Knight of Cups on the bottom. So there is that opportunity again. 
And I feel like, you know, this is a Knight of Pentacles energy. This is Knight of Cups. So this is like a proposal. This is like the opportunity of a lifetime being exposed to you, you know, being revealed, right? So I feel like this is, you know, this is a surprise opportunity. You know, proposals are usually by surprise. You usually don't see them coming, right? So I feel like you're not going to expect this proposal. You're not going to expect this abundance or this, you know, situation unfolding. I feel like you are not expecting this. This is something that you may have had patience to wait on. But I feel like you're changing your perspective enough to trust in your situation to have faith in what it is you're learning what it is you're growing into because you know it's bringing you prosperity it's bringing you abundance okay this is stability this is your stability increasing a very solid offer right so i i feel like whatever is coming through to you is actually a mystery but i feel like it's also something that's very intuitively accepted right i feel like you can you can kind of feel it with your intuition because you you've been waiting for something to happen this is something that you've been waiting for and i feel like there's a control behind it that, you know, you, are able to take action, right? You're able to get something done. You're able to work on something, okay? Let's go ahead and take a look at love for Taurus. Let's take a look at love. What's going on for Taurus in their love life in April? Okay, review and contemplation. Hmm. So this is number 20. So this is the judgment card again. And we received the judgment card, but it was in reverse right here. Okay. But this is now in the upright. So I feel like, you know, you may have to get out of your com comfort to pursue whatever this is. Because this is the judgment card coming out twice, right? You've accomplished a great deal in your life and you have much to be proud of. Now it's time to decide what's next. As you contemplate the past and the present, You'll get a clear on your divine life purpose. Don't be distracted by conventional thinking. Be the real you. Okay? Yeah, be in the here and now. You know, don't let something influence you. Right? Um, just take action on your situation. Okay? And we also have letting go, the number 13. So this is actually the, the death card. So there's transformation and um, some kind of new beginning happening for you, right? So, uh, <clears throat> so there will be something that you will be letting go in place of something that will be coming that's much better, right? So releasing the past can seem like a challenge, but it can also be liberating. Your angels will help you let go so that you can fly higher than ever before. Endings always herald new beginnings. Choose to allow the situation to lead you to a more joyful life. Change your life by changing your thoughts. Okay? By letting go of past energy, past hurts, past disappointments, and moving forward and anticipating the new, okay? 
We also have the number nine, the spiritual teacher. So that is actually the Hierophant. Okay, so we actually have the Hierophant twice as well. Okay, so let's see. No, wait a minute. Yes, we actually have the Hierophant twice. <clears throat> Okay, so <clears throat> there are great rewards in spending time alone. Use those moments. Actually, this is not the Hierophant. This is the Hermit. <sighs> I'm sorry. Okay, there are great rewards in spending time alone. Use those moments of solitude to focus on love and ways of which you might give to those around you. Shine your light as an example for others to follow. Seek out a spiritual mentor of your own if your life feels unfulfilled right now. Okay? So, you know, that I, I feel like Spirit is letting you know to look for fulfillment within. Right? Um, take that spiritual journey and maybe meditate, contemplate. But look within for your fulfillment, okay? Now let's take a look at the love oracles for Taurus. Take a look at the love oracles, please. Okay, so we have date. So there's definitely going to be someone new that you'll be meeting. There's someone new that will be coming in to give you some kind of offer, some kind of invitation, some kind of, you know, proposal to, you know, go out, get to know each other, converse, you know, um, just spend time together. So you may be socializing, you may be getting out on dates, you may be, you know, just meeting that new someone, right? So that's very interesting. Oh my gosh. And we also have engagement ring. Okay, there's that proposal. There's that proposal. You know, so something is definitely going to be coming in. Something is going to be offered to you that's going to be very important. Now, Taurus, if this is not love that is going to be proposal, if this isn't love, this is definitely going to be something that is very, very valuable to you. It's something that is going to give you some kind of commitment, right? It's something that's going to give you a lot of abundance, a lot of wealth, a lot of generosity, okay? Now, if this is love, this is your new beginning evolving into a long-term relationship okay this is love that's growing into something bigger something better something beautiful okay so that's very beautiful energy at the bottom we do have abundance right so make sure to keep a positive mindset because i feel like abundance is very close to you april is your month taurus I feel like abundance is coming very strong. All right. So let's take a look at your. Okay. We get an angel card. Okay, we have angels. So you definitely have support and guidance. I feel like your angels are definitely surrounding you. Your angels are definitely supporting you. They're providing you with guidance. And if you listen very closely, your angels will guide you on which way you need to follow, which way you need to go. Okay, so I feel like that's very important for you at this time. I feel like that's very really important for you to hear at this time, right? So let's take a look at your angel number. Let's take a look and see 
what is going on with Taurus? What is Taurus's angel number? Okay, look. <laughs> of course, transformation. Okay, so this is like the death card the third time, for real. 1919, changes, transformation, evolution. You know, something is evolving and growing. Um, wow. It is asked that you take notice that you hold within your hands the power to change a life. Within this realization, you will feel your sense of purpose and your connection to new beginnings. Okay? Your affirmation, I release what I no longer need to carry, and I open myself to the transformative energy of the divine. Okay? So that is your reading, Taurus. I hope this reading resonates with you. If it does, please like and subscribe. Hit that bell so that you don't miss any uploads. And if it doesn't resonate, make sure to take a look at your other placements. They may be resonating with you more at this moment. And feel free to leave a comment below. I'd love to hear your comments. And I so appreciate all of your support. Okay, so keep liking and sub subscribing. I love you so much. Okay. And until your next reading, Taurus, many blessings to you. Love and light.